Welcome back to another video guys. In this one we'll be checking out the blood oxygen sensor on the Galaxy Watch 4. And we'll compare it with this um, pulse oximeter. And we'll see how close the readings are. Right, let's just take a quick reading. Right, we don't have it on the screen yet, so we'll add it. Go to add tiles. As you can see there, we go here, add blood oxygen. So there it is. All right, so let's go to measure. Just tell you what to do. So move your watch higher than your wrist, elbow, on a table, hold your wrist near your heart. All right, let's start the measurements. Right, straight away in the first attempt, we've got 98 and 64. Look at that. It's bang on. 90% there we go. 90% and 64. 98. Well, oh, this is because this is continuously reading, so obviously my heart rate's gonna go up one because I'm moving. But this is just what we just what we were just taking now. So that's really accurate. Let's take another reading. Alright, ninety seven sixty three to ninety eight sixty four. Still really close. Obviously this is going to keep changing because it's like a continuous reading and this is what we just took. But this does um, the blood oxygen reading much quicker than my Galaxy Watch 3. The Galaxy Watch 3 did do the reading but it did take a while to actually get the reading done. But this is much faster. Anyway guys, that was just a quick video on the blood oxygen sensor on the Galaxy Watch 4 and um, comparing it, well comparing the results with this um, blood oxygen meter here and it's really really close, it's pretty good anyway guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one, thanks for watching